Okay guys, so these are some of the goodies that we are going to be putting in our Sancocho today. All right, so let me zoom in a little bit and then I'll go through everything. Um, so these are the platanos, they're the green, um, they're the green plantains. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use two or three. Um, these are the guineos. They are the green bananas. They look like our yellow bananas that we normally eat, um, but they're green um, and they're called guineos. We're going to use some calabaza, which is pumpkin. You can get it already seeded out and already um, without the, um, the skin. You can get it whole, however they sell it in your supermarket. Yauthia. Yauthia is a very silky root um, vegetable. Um, I made a video on how to make pateles. The video was so long, it was about an hour long, and that's why I never posted it, because I showed how to make the pateles from beginning to, um, to end. Um, and that's why I never posted the video, because an hour just seemed too long. I need to redo and make it um, a shorter video. But um, yeah, yeah, it's a silky root vegetable. It's really, really good. If you cook it um, enough, it'll melt in your mouth. It's, it's, it's just good. It's something similar to, to the to juca, which we're also going to be adding in there. Um, and juca you can buy, oh my camera thing. Juca you can buy either fresh, or you can buy it frozen. I had bought it frozen last week at Walmart because I was going to make the yuca with um, garlic and shrimp. But I ended up making a paella. I never used the yuca, and this is why I didn't buy fresh yuca. I bought. I just used the frozen. We're also going to be adding some corn that I got from Walmart. We're not going to use all this corn. I'm going to make some for the kids on the side. Um, and then here we have onion, one whole large onion, a large red pepper, and a large green pepper. You don't need to use the red. You can just use green if you like. I have one head of garlic here that we're going to be using. I have one bunch of cilantro, which I washed and chopped. Um, I have my um, sazon, I mean, I always say sazon, adobo. Um, some garlic powder as well. Um, what else? Oh, we're going to be using some chicken, I mean chicken, some ham, some pork um, seasoning, and we're also going to be using the sesame. I have some, sorry, I have some olive oil, and you guys know I use the pink salt, and we have a half a can of tomato. If you have acid reflexes, um, you don't need to put the tomato sauce in it. You won't need it. Um, we have tripe, which is toadita. And I'm trying to show you guys because some people never either heard of it or bought it. I love tripe. I love the toallita. I can't zoom in. I'm sorry, guys. And we got this from the butcher, so I do need to wash it, um, clean it well, because you want to clean this well, and then I have to cut it up, so I'll do that. And then we also got some pork neck bones to put in it. Um, and what else did we get? Oh, okay, so, and then this is um, the... Wait a minute, I'm confused. Okay, this is the pork. Um, this is pork that we, it's like penne. So I have the other half um, with all the fat. I took it out, I'm gonna make that separate for the kids because they're not gonna wanna eat the sancocho or certain things from it. So I'll make them that on the side. So what I did was I took out the pieces of pork of penne that didn't have all that fat because you really don't want all that fat in your penne. Okay, so this is more of just the the actual meat itself. It has a little bit of fat because we want that fat to melt in there because we want to be able to um, to incorporate that 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 fat into it because once it, it the fat melts, you'll get all that flavor from the pork in your sancocho. And this is just a couple of beef um, cubes that I cut up. 
um, and it's the beef cubes that you will use to make beef stew. So we have beef, we have pork, we have the neck bone, we have the tripe, and we're going to put, um, these are the meats that we're going to incorporate in our sancocho today. So this is everything that we're going to be using. I know it seems like a lot, but honey, it'll taste good and it all will blend in well together, trust me. All right, my loves, I just want to mention for this, um, the step I'm doing with my meats, you don't have to. If you just want to just um, throw all your meats inside of the pot with your vegetables and saute it, saute it that way, you can. I want to season my meat prior to putting it in the pot because that's just something that I'd rather do. So I'm adding a little bit of my um, adobo, um, a little bit of sazon, y un poquito, and a little bit of garlic. To that, and I'm just going to give it a toss, like so. Okay. Now to this, I am going to add my pieces of, um, of pork, of penne that is, has already been chopped up. Um, and I'm going to season that. You see how some pieces um, have the bone of the pork, the penne? That's good. You want that. So you throw all that in there. And like I said, you don't have to season your meat in a separate bowl. You can just throw it in the pot and do it all together, but I want to do it this way. I'm going to add a little bit more of adobo, and you guys know I love this adobo because it's um, less salty than the other adobo, sodium free, and all that other good stuff. I'm trying to watch my salt intake, guys. When you get older, you got to watch what we consume, right? So I used the other half for the sazon. And just give it a little mix like this. Okay guys, so we're going to add olive oil. If you don't have olive oil, you can use um, canola oil, any kind of oil, it doesn't matter. You guys know I like cooking with olive oil, so that is what I use. All right, now we're going to be adding our garlic. Now all our vegetables are roughly chopped. Um, you don't need to finely chop this. this pot of sancocho, the stew, is going to be cooking for a long time, so all of that will eventually um, break up, okay? We're also going to be adding our large onion, our large red pepper, and our green um, pepper. between a seven and an eight being the highest and I'm going to let that cook all right guys let's give it a stir it's been about five minutes um we don't want to cook this all the way I just want to cook it just a little bit all right we're going to add our cilantro to this
to take our meat, which we have here, and we're going to add it to our veggies. And we're going to get this to stir as well. cover this for approximately 20 minutes and we're going to allow the meat um, to create juices and our veggies to well. My lid is a little off so I got to kind of turn with it. Um, I think it's from me cooking outside in the fogong rice in the summer that my pot doesn't um, the lid doesn't meet up with the pot. I don't know if it's from using the pot on the fogong outside. I don't know, but anyways. And we're gonna lower our heat um, to about a five, all right? Because we don't want it too high. We don't want our meat to cook too quick. We just want it to cook slowly and start releasing some of those natural juices. guys I just want to mention really quickly that when cutting your um, yaltia it will be a little slippery because um, like I said it's soaky so I have um, actually cut the yaltia and I am putting it in cold water because I don't want them to get brown on me okay and you can cut them as big and as small as you want so these are probably too small I'm gonna cut the other ones a little big Okay guys, so it's been exactly 20 minutes. I just chopped up all of my root vegetables. Okay, this is exactly what we want. We, our meat released um, is juices, so that's going to be our base. Now we're going to add the juca. I'm not adding the whole bag because we are adding other vegetables, so I didn't... Um, I didn't need that much. All right, guys, so it's been um, 15 minutes. And you see how I can break right through the juca? I don't know if you can see how I'm just breaking right in the middle. Well, this one, this one's not doing it. But um, this one did, that one. All right. That one too. I'm going to incorporate my um, plantains in there. Which I have soaking in water. and I just rinsed, um, drained the water out. When I chopped up the plantains, I should have just soaked those separate because I want those to cook um, before the other ones and I didn't do that. I should have done that because these will cook a little longer than the um, yautia and the calabaza. So guys, next time separate your plantains from your other vegetables. <laughs> All right, that's about, that's it, yeah. Okay, so now we're gonna cover that and let it cook for another 10 minutes. 
Oh, and I want to give it a taste because I want to see how the flavor is coming along and if I need any other um, seasoning because I only put the two envelopes of the jamon flavoring of the pork flavoring. So, And guys, if you don't eat pork, this you can make this um, recipe without the pork. It can be strictly chicken, beef, or chicken and beef. Um, you know, so you don't have to put pork if you don't eat pork. All right, let's give it a taste. Mm, it tastes good, but it needs the other ham packet, so the two. Definitely, and it needs a little bit more of adobo and a little more of garlic, okay? So, and I put four of these into the sancocho already. Let me sprinkle a little bit more of adobo and a little bit more of garlic powder. And I want to put a little bit of um, salt. And um, you know, I always say I use pink salt, but you guys can use um, any salt that you like, okay? But I, you know, just prefer pink salt. This smells really good. Really good. I made one emos last night with um, bacalao. So look for that tutorial in two weeks. I'll be posting that one. This, this um, tutorial come before that one. This one will be posted on Friday. This week and then next week it'll be the bacalao and one emo. All right, so we're gonna cover this up. Let those, all that seasoning um, do its thing, okay? And then um, we'll check back on in about. Um all right, guys, so I shredded um, four um, bananas and now I'm going to put this in the refrigerator because we are going to put this in the sancocho at the very end okay because if you put it too soon the whole thing's going to fall apart oh the steam the steam where's my okay I lost my spoon where the heck is the spoon all right guys so it's been about 20 minutes and the uh, juca as you see is breaking apart that's exactly what I want and our bananas also are not all the way done but they still can use a little more cooking so at this point we're going to add the remaining of the of the pumpkin. All right, so at this part we're gonna add the pumpkin and the yaltia. And we're gonna give it a stir. And as you make sancocho, you may have to add um, a little more water at a time because um, the vegetables will um, so because the vegetables will absorb some uh, absorb some of that water. I think uh, mostly the 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 yuca. All right, so this is it. I'm gonna add a little more water to it. Hot water. We're gonna let this cook and then we're also going to taste it, okay?
make sure that all your um, vegetables that you just put in there are covered, all right? Like so, and cover it up. And let it cook for, I will check it within maybe um, another 20, 20 minutes. Um, because, no, matter of fact, like 10, 15 minutes because the calabaza and the um, yautia. Guys, I forgot to add the corn. You can cut these in half. Um, I'm not gonna go through all that. I'm just gonna put them in there like that. I'm just putting in four pieces of corn. Um, you can add more, but I think four is good um, enough. Yautia. Don't take very long to cook, okay? All right, guys, so um, this is practically, is done already. I am going to add the shredded um, banana that I shredded earlier and put in the refrigerator. I'm going to be adding that to my sancocho. I'm just giving it a quick stir. And then what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to put it on a spoon and then I'm just going to dump it into the sancocho. And I want to dump it where there is um, enough water. I mean, not enough water, but enough of the, of the calo, enough of the, um, the soup, the stew, I should say. and you don't want to put them too close to each other. And like I said, you don't have to do this process. You could have just cut it, um, cut the bananas and just put them in here. But I just wanted to do this. I don't know, I think it tastes better with this, with the, bolita de, de guineo, the banana balls, because it gives it a taste of pateles. I don't want to put it too close, put it there. And they're not going to be perfect, but they'll cook, you know, on their own. And remember, put this towards the end because you don't want to overcook them because they will fall apart. I'm trying to find where to put them. And I'm handling them with a spoon because you can't do it with your hands. They're too, they're like too sticky and there's no shaping them unless you do it with, um, with the spoon. See where I can put this one, maybe right here. And then we'll put the other one. Where can we put the other one? Uh, let's try to move that over and dump that baby right there. And we're gonna cook these for about five mi minutes, maybe. 10 minutes. Maybe 15 minutes. We'll keep our eye on it. All right, this is the last one. Let's see if I put this one right there. All right, so that's it. I want to try to let them submerge them without breaking them apart. You hungry, little girl? Huh, Missy? Mm, Missy Wissy? All right, guys, so this is Paul's plate, and it's delicious. I can't wait to eat. Um, this is the bolita de platano, the, I mean, bolita de guineo, the balls of um, bananas. That's some of the beef, the pork, 
tripe, another banana um, ball there. The calabaza is there. Some more tripe, you guys see the yuca. Um, trying to zoom in. And corn, of course, aguacate and rice and you know Paul likes a lot of rice so um yeah so this is the end result it tastes delicious like I can't even tell you um how good it is and it's perfect for today especially um that he's been on the road all day in the snow and the ice since 4 30 this morning um and this is perfect and this will cook for a while guys so just keep in mind that this is something that will cook for about maybe up to two hours maybe a little more depending how much meat and the texture of the meat okay um because you want to make sure your meat is tender that it's not tough and that your root vegetables are you know um are not hard either okay so this is it let me take this upstairs because i believe he's upstairs either in bed or on the chase watching tv so I hope that you give this recipe a try. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this tutorial on Sancocho. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the bell for notification so that you don't miss um, when I post a video. Thank you so much and enjoy your day. God bless.